On July 26, 1945, 10 weeks after Victory in Europe Day on May 9th, and 8 days after the world's first successful nuclear test at Alamogordo, New Mexico, the Potsdam Declaration was broadcast to Japan. It threatened prompt and utter destruction unless the Japanese Empire submitted to unconditional surrender. Emperor Hirohito agreed to the terms, but the military faction of the Japanese cabinet would not. There would be no surrender. On July 28th, in the Asahi Shimbun newspaper, the Allied powers got their response. Prime Minister Suzuki Kantaro, a longtime opponent of the war with the United States, had no choice but to declare Mokusatsu contemptuous silence. President Truman immediately authorized the atomic bombing of Hiroshima for the morning of August 6, 1945, and his orders were carried out. Physics caught up with science fiction. Three days later, Fat Man fell on Nagasaki while the Red Army invaded Japanese Manchuria. Six days later, with the atomic bombing of Tokyo imminent, Emperor Hirohito delivered the Gyokuon Hoso, announcing the capitulation of Japan. It was the first time that a Japanese emperor, regarded as a divinity by the Japanese, had ever communicated directly to the people of Japan and the first time the Japanese people had ever heard the emperor's voice.
不覚、世界の大勢と、帝国の炎上度に鑑み、異常の措置をもって、異族を吸収せんと、こ、こに、重量なる、男児神民に住む、神は、帝国、帝国をして、米、米、死、と、国に対し、その、相当宣言を自達する旨、通告せしめたり、そもそも、帝国市民の公明を図り、万法共栄の楽しみを共にするは、高層高層の違反にして、金の宣言を語るところ、金、米英二国に宣戦せる連もまた、実に帝国の日本と、法和の安定とを拒否するにつで、他国の視点を入り、平等、ガスなごときは、もとより君が心たちにあらず、しかるに、公戦戦国対応を兼み、君が、一回将兵の優先、君が、閣僚優秀の、冷静、君が、一億、中所の方向、この,の最善を作せるに変わらず、選挙区必ずしも公選。